Man, that's right. Bridgewater, currently, or at least at the end of April, their funds uh, sat at $138 billion. That's down from $163 billion. So, again, that's a 15 percent plunge. Now, according to people familiar telling Bloomberg, most of that drop came from poor performance, not necessarily client withdrawals, although there definitely were some, including the Virginia retirement system. But, for example, their biggest fund, Pure Alpha 2, that dropped 20 percent in the months through April. So stark losses there. Uh, their all-weather risk parity fund fared a little bit better. But still, we knew these asset returns were going to be really bad, considering that Ray Dalio took to LinkedIn in March, publishing a post saying that, look, these markets, the coronavirus pandemic, it caught us at the worst possible time. We were essentially all in. We were all long when these markets started to tumble. So there's exactly what he said on LinkedIn, saying we had a long tilt in our positions. Now, the good news for Dalio and Bridgewater is that they have a long wait list of people who want to jump in and want Dalio to manage their money. So now that their assets are lower, they have more capacity to take on new money. They're certainly going to do that. Uh, they're also open to clients who currently invest with Dalio and want to put even more cash into all weather and their pure alpha funds. So yes, their assets are low, but it looks very likely that they're going to get more investors and be able to pump up those levels again. Nara?